I really need to offload a lot of things on my chest and I'm going to make it brief. All right. So first off, I want to especially thank every single one of you that has been keeping up with the Nigerian general elections, the current situation as at now. I, I, I'm really grateful. A lot of you have shown tremendous support. You've stood in solidarity with us Nigerians. I am really grateful. Yesterday was really, really a black day in Nigeria. A lot of well-meaning Nigerians, a lot of us who are sick and tired of the situation of this country, we, we kind of went into a mental sinkhole yesterday. I, I feel like a lot of people actually sort of lost their sanity for a bit yesterday. I am one of those people. Yesterday was a very, very dark day for me. I laid in bed for almost the entire day for the first time in a long while, even when I was sick. I mean, you guys saw that I still tried to put out at least two videos in a day, but yesterday, I, I, it was like I was having an out-of-body experience. I, I felt like I was dead. I felt like I was looking at myself from another universe, guys. It was that bad. And, you know, a lot of people tried sounding insensitive by saying, oh, is it because your candidate did not win? I said, no, it's not about your candidate not winning at this point. No, it's about the glaring rigging of the elections. Nigerian youths came out en masse to vote on Saturday, guys. Saturday was the first time ever that I, was, I would ever vote in my life. Every time there was an election in my country, it's either I'm in school or maybe I'm not with uh, my voter's card or something, you know. So I was very intentional and I wasn't the only one. There were a lot of people like me. A lot of people who were based in other countries, they also flew into the country solely because of the elections. And that's because people were tired. Everybody wanted the same change, still wants the same change. The international community, everybody, the whole world witnessed live, sometimes on social media, you know, all the atrocities, the impunity that was displayed on that day by a particular political party. It was very glaring. For those of you that were watching CNN news, guys, it was all over the media. Touts, um, hoodlums, thugs coming out on the day of elections to, to destroy ballot boxes, to beat up people, to injure people. Guys, a lot. If you want to keep up on this information, watch Arise um, News TV channel on YouTube here. You will see recaps of all of those videos playing out. Now, aside all of those atrocities meted out on voters, how voters were disenfranchised, the results became a problem. The body in Nigeria that's supposed to safeguard the interest of Nigerians, the votes, the rights of Nigerians, they decided to be non-transparent. Everything they promised Nigerians that they would do, they went back on their word. Till today, we're still waiting for results. Election that happened since Saturday. And guess what? The results that have been uploaded to the website where the results were supposed to be uploaded on the very day of the, of the elections, guys, it does not match. It does not tally at all with the original results that was actually gotten on the day of the elections. Because a lot of people made it a point of duty to record the process of counting and the process of the, 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 the electoral officers recording the results. But guess what? The results that are being uploaded, they have viral cancellations. They have a lot of cancellations. In other words, they erased the original results and imputed their own results, all in favor of the party that has now been declared the ruling party in the country. So Nigerians are tired. Nigerians are fed up. At this point, there's tension everywhere. We don't know what's going to happen next. Protest is already building here and there in different parts of the country. But my fear is, what's going to happen next? Because the party that has been declared winners now of the elections, they are bragging. They are saying, go to court, go to court. And for me, I find that very, very suspicious because it's like me stealing from you. And I tell you, go and report to your mother. I'm telling you that because I know that there's nothing your mother is going to do. I'm, I'm telling you, go and, go and tell your father, go and do whatever I want to. I know that the person I'm telling you to go and report to is not going to do shit. That is what they are saying to Nigerians. If you don't like the result, go to court. Take it to court. And those of us that are 
Conk Nigerians, we know how the Nigerian judiciary system works. Sometimes it favors you. Sometimes you weep. You weep blood because you're not going to get justice. So that is the current situation of Nigeria. If you see people, you know, acting strange, like they want to die, that's because people are scared of the future, of what's going to happen next. Unbelievable. I had been recording for a while without even realizing that my camera was not in focus. I mean, I can't go back now. I'm just going to continue anyways. Apologies about that, guys. So another message, this one is to some Nigerians, in fact, all Nigerians living in diaspora. You're Nigerian and you are based in the US, England, wherever you are based. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to all of you to please Try as much as possible to be very, very sensitive to the plight of us Nigerians that are still here, here in Nigeria. I'm saying this because yesterday someone really got on my nerves. So this person is a Nigerian, um, obviously now a, a British citizen, person is based abroad and um, person called me and was talking about the elections, you know, oh, what's happening i heard this person won blah 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 and i'm like i'm not really happy about the fact that all these things happened and the electoral body still went ahead to declare a winner you know i was you know kind of venting and this this <laughs> trying not to use curse words but this person this idiot sorry guys i can't resist it but this idiot had the audacity to ask me if I think the election was rigged and I'm like, I don't understand. You of all people have been following the news. You are aware you have friends and some family members in this country whom obviously have given you reports, updates of what's happening in the country at their own various polling units. And you have the audacity to ask me if I think the election was rigged. But and the person was like, eh, you should go to court now. People should take it to court. If people are aggrieved, take it to court. After all, Nigeria is a very useless country. Nigeria is this. This person was saying all manner of trash. Guys, trust me, instantly, I put the person in their place. And I ceased, like, I literally cut off all lines of communication. I'm like, no, I'm not going to be having this conversation with a redundant entity. This person is redundant. Because people like that... They look at their situation. They know that obviously they are privileged, right? Everything about them is all sparkling clean. You know, they've got citizenship. They're happy where they are. And you know, if anything, this person is not the only person that's actually guilty of that nonsense. The other people that have told me, you know, stories of how their friends will call them and say, hey, Shabi, we told you to jack back from this country. You don't want to jack back. I stay there and suffer what is happening. I'm like, how can people be so stupidly insensitive at this point in time? Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. And this is not me coming from a place of, you know, being angry that Nigerians are finding better opportunities abroad. No. I mean, if you want to find greener pastures, by all means, do so. It's, if it works for you, go ahead. But the question is, can all Nigerians, Jakba, can every single Nigerian citizen, down to the beggar on the street, down to the market woman that can only make sales of maybe just 5,000 naira a day, can they Jakba from this country? So the fact that you can Jakba does not mean that everybody's situation has to be like yours. Not everybody can actually afford to Jakba. Not everybody has that choice open to them or that opportunity available to them. So those that cannot afford to leave, they are here hoping for a better present and hoping for a better future. And then you that is privileged, you have the audacity to be making jests of people that are here back home in Nigeria. And you think you have sense. You are mad. You think you have sense? No, you are empty. You are, de you, you are delusional. Because at the end of the day, if Nigeria becomes a working nation today, tomorrow, anytime, these same people that are making noise, making all manner of insensitive remarks, acting stupid and dumb, they will still be the ones bragging over there in their green pasture environment that, oh, I am, I am actually Nigerian. They'll be bragging that they are Nigerian. And guess what? 
all the money they have made there, they will be the first to rush back home to Nigeria to come and invest, to come and start up business. I have seen a lot of them. They come, they come and open businesses here and there. They bring their accent. Be wise. Don't allow the devil to use you this period. Be wise. But most of all, have empathy. Know that people are sad at this point in time, not because their candidate did not win. I'm going to sound that again. Not because their candidate not, did not win, but because they were disenfranchised. People left their businesses. People put their lives to a halt. People traveled to their villages, to their hometowns, to cast their vote, to exercise their civic rights, their duty to Nigeria. Because they believed that there was going to be a change this time around. Because they believed that things would be different this time around. Based on the promises of the electoral body of this country. They went out. They did all they needed to do. They fulfilled their moral obligations to this country. And at the end of the day, look at what happened. Shambles. Everything turned out to be extremely messy. And nobody has been held accountable for it. In Lagos State. All the havoc that was caused on that day, the governor of this state has never for once addressed it. Nobody has been arrested. There are videos of people at polling units, you know, threatening innocent citizens that, oh, if you are not going to vote for this particular person, you better go home. More. In some places, they told them, if you are a certain tribe, don't vote here. Go back to your village to vote. Tribalism. Guys, tribalism. Oh, my God. A lot of nonsense that happened on that day. But nobody has addressed anything. Nobody has been called to books. Arrests have not been made. Those thugs are still working freely. As a matter of fact, some of them they will be promoted to a major general thug. That is what is happening in this country. And that is why Nigerians are, are, are angry. That's why people are filled with rage. It's not about the, 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 the person that won or did not win. No. It's about the sacrifices that were made to make Saturday possible. And then our rights were trampled upon. And then to our so-called Nigerian celebrities, I'm not going to generalize because it's not all of them, but some of them that have actually sold their conscience to the devil. Some of them that feel very comfortable to sit on the same table with the same people that are drilling to, to, that are drilling to, oh my God, the same people that are selling our rights, the same people that are crumpling this Nigerian economy, my prayer for them today, call me petty, call me whatever, I don't care, but my prayer to all of them today is that the evil that they are using their hands to contribute to, you know, happening, meting out to Nigerians, may it happen to them directly. And when they come out to wail about it, may they not find the help that they seek. Because we needed a change. We still need that change. That is why people came out en masse to vote on Saturday. And that is why we took it upon ourselves to ensure that we performed our obligations to Nigeria. But then some people sat down somewhere because of peanuts, because of titles, because of an upgrade in status in the society. They contributed in truncating our rights. They contributed in selling our votes. May heaven not have mercy on them. May Nigeria, all the, all the horrible things that has been happening to Nigeria, may, may it also happen to them. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. I'm feeling a lot of dangerous emotions. There are so many things I want to say, but I can't really say what I want to really say. But I thought I should express how I really feel. And I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. A lot of Nigerians are heartbroken. A lot of Nigerians are sad. We are sad. We are angry. I only hope that God helps this country move forward. I only hope that with the new government that we have, however this whole thing turns out, that that change that we seek in this country, that we find it, that the bad eggs be removed completely. 
that the bad eggs, the bad links, the bad lines that continues to connect impunity in this country and as kind of rooted impunity in this society, I can, we can only pray that the God that we serve uproots them all in due time. And I pray that it does not take long. I pray that it happens very soon. I pray that it happens very soon because I would not want to grow old in this country and still be wallowing in corruption and still be wallowing in impunity. I pray that God answers our prayers sooner than later.